Hi, Brian. Cheers, Brian. Brian. Hi, Elga. Hey, how are you? Um, I suppose the first question I wanted to ask was, um, and this uh, this is to all three of you, but I think you, Olga, might be able to answer this a bit better. Um, you know, like I know in the US and I, I guess in the UK as well, there is a really strong tradition of um, of uh, you know musicals or whatever, but it, it does seem to be quite confined to just the two of them. So I guess my question is, is and this is quite broad, I know, but what is the appeal of musicals? I mean, do you think it's just something that's purely confined to American pop culture or do you think it's something that can cross borders? I mean, I think it, 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 it's very American, absolutely. Yeah. But it's also very English. And, and, and I know in Spain, they have the zarzuela, you know, so there is the, you know, the, um, that kind of tradition there. But I think that the, this, I think this movie has so much joy and so much light, especially after the year that we've had that it music and the dancing is just gonna cut right through, to, right, right to your heart. And so I think it's a really effective way to communicate. And I think it's going to be like a, a crossover movie that will appeal to everyone. Guys, um, this question for both of you is, and I've been asking everybody uh, on the junket about this. How would you, I guess, convince someone who doesn't like musicals to get into musicals? Or, I mean, I suppose, could you explain the appeal of musicals, if, if, you, if you can? Uh, what I would say to people that don't like musicals is, what is wrong with you? Just kidding. No, um, but... <laughs> But, uh, but I feel like if you, if you don't like musicals, it's maybe because you haven't seen a good one. And I know for a fact that a lot of people that say, I'm not a musical person, but I love this one are saying that about our movie. So, and I think it's because it's such a, it kind of like makes you forget that it's a musical. You kind of just get sucked into the world and it's so joyous and such a celebration. And I think that's exactly the feelings that we need to feel right now mm -hmm. as, you know, as humanity coming out of a pandemic that it's more medicinal than people realize for your soul mm -hmm. um, and for your mind. And, and it's very hopeful and very wholesome too. So I think it's just a movie for everyone. And I know a lot of people that have gotten to see an advanced screener that always, always the first thing is, listen, I don't like musicals, but I love this one. For me, it's, it's mu music is power. Like that, that, that crosses all borders, all language. We know that it's tried and true. It is, it speaks to something that words can't, that books can't, that, that whatever we do surfing the internet can't. It's, it's, it's these melodies, it's these words that come together. And so I believe 100% of that. I know the world believes 100% of that. Now, how do you mix that in with a, uh, a story on the screen? That's another question. But I think if you go to the source of why music exists, that words aren't enough to express something very personal, and you pair that with the power of cinema, which is intimacy, that you can be this close to someone's face and see them lying because their eye twitches and you pair those two together and you don't make it separate. You don't make it, hey, here's their lines. And then now they're gonna do a performance for you to express, to show you what how, an interpretation of that line. But that is in the same vein of a piece of dialogue. That is in the same vein of expressing what it feels to yearn, to, 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 um, to, to feel alone, to feel wanted or needed, whatever those things are. If you, if you, the closer you tie those things together, I think, that the more it speaks to more people than people who sort of see the typical musical. Um, but everybody has their own interpretation of what the musical is. So, but that's just mine. That's something that we've been saying the whole time. It's like, this is the, this is the musical for non-musical people. And I will even say just as a, not, you, I'm not, I, my family is not the biggest fan of musicals. And I think one of the main contributing factors was because they, well, there goes my earring. Um, they, they, they never got to saw, see them. They were just, un, un, didn't feel real. The, the subject matter was never relatable to them. Right. The yeah. Like it wasn't were, under representation. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think, and, and just beyond representation, I think you want to watch a story that you relate to whether no matter who is telling the story, you want to feel like, oh, I felt like that before. And, and then the song and dance and the spectacle of it all makes sense to you because at the end of the day, we all experience 
um, our, 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 uh, our life experiences like a movie in our head, right? Or like a musical, like more dramatic than what they, what they really are. And that's what musicals are, an extension of feelings. Um, so this movie, I feel like does it, does it in, in a way that you've never seen before in a small neighborhood um, of, yes, a Latin ex, you know, cast, a predominantly Latino neighborhood, but um, relatable storylines, you know, that anyone from anywhere could really connect to. And yeah, I think that's what's necessary for a good musical. No one wants to get